What's up, y'all? I got some frozen turkey necks and some frozen turkey wings. We about to put these things in the crock pot and just see how it turns out. Okay? Just give them a quick rinse to get that ice off of them. Next, done. All right, so we're gonna get these wings in there too. Just because I only have one pack of each, we just gonna see how it turns out. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm gonna rinse the wings off too. Oh yeah, look at that tip. Mm-hmm. All of this smoked meat goodness is in the crock pot. Now I'm gonna put a half of a medium onion in here and this is just sliced up. Let me break it apart. I got 10 cloves of garlic that I didn't even peel. Just throw them right in. and a couple of handfuls of baby carrots. Mm -hmm. This is all to develop some flavor, you feel me? And a couple more to grow on. And two cups of water, I already got one cup in. You're gonna put another cup in like that there. And you guys, this meat is already smoked. So I will not be adding any seasonings right now just because I don't want it to be over salted. So all you wanna do now is cover that thing up and go to sleep, you feel me? Leave it on low and we are gonna come back in the morning and check it out. All right, so this is the following morning. Let's see what we got. Keep in mind, y'all, that I did not put any seasonings or anything in this crock pot. And I really just put the carrots and onions and garlic in there just to give it some flavor. So, let's see. It's definitely cooked. I put two cups of water. See how much liquid is in the bottom. Still got some liquid in the bottom. It's tender. The carrots look a little bumpy, but you don't have to eat those if you don't want to. All right, I'm just gonna take a little piece and check it for seasoning. And I'm not gonna double dip. Let's see. Okay. So even though this meat is smoked, it still needs a little bit of seasoning. So let me see what I can come up with. I'm also gonna give the liquid a taste to see how salty it is. Okay, the liquid is pretty salty, so I don't need much. I'm just gonna put a little adobo on here and baste it with the juices and we should be all set. All right guys, so this is how it came out. It cooked from about 7.45 last night to seven o'clock this morning on low, it was frozen. The meat is fall off the bone. Sometimes I like it like this, sometimes I don't. But this was just a quick experiment. Would I do it like this? Again, probably not with two different types of meat. I would probably do just the smoked turkey necks because they stay together a little bit better. But this is one of the drums and it's like really falling apart. Um, 
I went to sleep and everything. So if you want to do like some type of smoked sandwiches or something like that where you're going to be shredding the meat anyway, then I do suggest this method. But if you want a little bit of a bite to your meat, if you don't want it falling apart, then I don't suggest this method. But you guys, it's really easy to do. Try it if you want to. In case you guys needed an idea, if you wanna do your turkey like that, you can pull it off the bone and make a smoked turkey salad. And that's all we did here. That's why it's dark in color because this is smoked meat, y'all. But she basically put mayo, mustard, relish, green onions, and some other spices in there. I'll put the ingredients in the description, but yeah, that's just another way you can use your turkey when it's fall off the bone like that. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching.